I'm with Stan Zernich, who is a noted Bay Area photographer, uh, primarily, if not entirely, black and white, gels and silver print photography, who has for decades uh, been shooting the Bay Area, uh, the landscapes, the people, the cities, the towns of the Bay Area, uh, who has historically touched upon and worked with some of the great photographers of the 20th century. And I, I very much look forward to talking to Stan about his experience and about his being a photographer. Now we've shot together a bit and I've been really almost astounded in a way um, by the fact that y you see light like al almost as, as no other person I know of sees light. Um, and maybe that touches on who you are as a photographer. What do you respond to? as a photographer? <laughs> what, whatever attracts me visually, mm -hmm. or uh, it may be an emotional response, and I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I, I just uh, try to get out of my own way mm -hmm. and let the, let the image be a Who gift. really inspired you? Um, I, can, I can't think of, there's, uh, I, I, there are a lot of people whose work I like, um, uh, but I, the inspiration wasn't somebody else, it, it came from within, mm. but, uh, you know, I, I love Weston's work, and Minor and Ansel's and Phil, Phil Knight, because uh, I was, ex that's the first time I was exposed to what was, you know, real photography. Mm -hmm. And the pictorialists, I couldn't, I could never stand because of their, their little cute uh, t uh, titles that they'd put the thing. So Stan, you're holding up. Uh, one of your prints, it's, a, it's quite a lovely print. Um, the video really doesn't do it justice. The image is small, um, but it shows it appears to be reflection from water at top, two large boulders at bottom with a tree mid-ground. That's just the, the structural, some of the pictorial, no, not pictorial, but the picture elements in this picture. Why don't you tell us more about it? Well, it's... Um... Uh, the location is Lake Tanaya in Yosemite, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, th there seemed to be a flow of uh, from the trunk from the tree into the water, mm -hmm. and obviously the tree is dead. And uh, most of this is rationalization after the picture was taken. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized it was, uh, it was a progression from the physical to the spiritual. How do you mean? Well, if, if you look at the tree, it, it's dead and its branches, its life is gone. It's no longer there. And the water and the sparkles at the top uh, represent uh, the ascendancy of your spirit. Hmm. And this is all rationalization you know, years after I took the picture. Do you remember what you were thinking when you took the picture? I as wasn't you were taking... thinking anything. Mm -hmm. I was, well, I say I feel like they're gifts. Hmm. And uh, I don't know, I, I work it intuitively as something, this is attract, something attracted me and th that's, I, at the time, I uh, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. You just I just have to let it 
let it happen. Mm -hmm. I you don't know if that makes any sense. Or it makes sense because it's coming from you, the photographer. Now, you said it was a, uh, let me get the words right, uh, transition maybe from the physical to the spiritual. Is that, yes. is that accurate? Does that, does that change you? I mean, you think about it now. You say that, it kind of tells you who you are now. It's a rationalization. Should it change us somehow? If we look at this picture and you, you gave your interpretation of it, do you think that's something a, a, a prince should do? Um, you know, I, I think... Um, I think anything that to be an art form has to have a spiritual connection. So Stan, one last question for you. Um, why should we care about your work? Well, I think that depends on the individual who looks at it. If they want to learn something of a spiritual nature, then they'll see it. And I think everybody at some level has a, a spiritual nature, even if they don't concede it. So you're suggesting that your work may be good for us because we may discover a spiritual nature in us in, in us that we may not know about. Yes. That's great, Stan. Um, oh, I'm sorry, did you? Something else? Well, I wanted to thank Stan uh, for sharing his himself and his work with us today. Um, and I wish Stan many more inspiring pictures that hopefully will bring out the kind of spirituality that he has found in his work for himself. Um, this is a video in a continuing series of uh, emerging and accomplished photographers uh, brought to you by J.A. Martin Fine Images. Thank you very much. You're welcome.